Hey there, I'm Bill DeWeese, pro voiceover talent and voiceover career coach. And can I shoot straight with you today? Do I have your permission to be direct and blunt? If you are struggling in voiceover, you've got it backwards. You absolutely are approaching this from the tail end. And if you're doing, if you're working backwards, no wonder you are struggling so much in building a successful voiceover career. Now, yesterday I began to address this issue, this issue when I talked about rates. There is this uh, prevalent theme idea that's espoused over and over again by voiceover experts that say that when you get into voiceover, then you must start by charging industry rates. And to do anything less would be a disservice to yourself and to others and to the industry as a whole which is absolutely, it's, it's baloney. It is absolute BS. No business works that way. No business works that way. Uh, in voiceover, you have to start where you are at. And people, the market will pay for what they get. And when anybody starts a job or a career, they don't operate at the highest level. That comes with time and with experience. And if you continually bang your head against the wall trying to get industry standard, whatever the heck that means, when you first start in voiceover, no wonder you're struggling. So that, that's, and again, I talked about that yesterday. You can check the video and check all that out. But today I want to talk about this idea of, I must find my, my niche or my niche. If I had a nickel for every time somebody asked me this, and by the way, I've talked about this before, but it's so prevalent and it just, it comes at me every day people asking the same questions over because they're getting really, you're getting really bad advice and you're listening to it. And we'll talk about that more in just a second. Um, but you have to understand when you first start off, if you, if you start by asking the most competitive rates and you're not the most competitive talent, you've got an issue to begin with. That's not the way business, that's not the way the market works. Secondly, if you approach this by saying, okay, I've got to, I've got to put myself into the, to, to, into the genre, into the niche, the niche that I need to be in to be successful, you're approaching it backwards once again. Uh, let me share with you a little bit of my experience. And by the way, I have an extensive background in marketing as a business marketing consultant, as a professor at a university level, graduate level, teaching marketing, uh, as well as building my own you know, multi-six-figure voiceover business over the past several years. So this is something I know a little bit about. When, you know, when you first start, if you start by saying, well, I want to specialize in fill in the blank. And by the way, that was my story. You know, I, I was very interested in doing radio imaging. I was very interested in doing promos. Uh, I even had some interest in, do, in, in doing character work. And it may, you know, that, that may resonate with you. That might be your story as well. Um, but what I found was what I thought or the things I wanted to do were not necessarily the things I was best at. Now, over these past 14 years, I've done my fair share of radio imaging. I've done some promo work. I've even worked, done character work on video games. But the vast majority of my work has been actually an area that I never even thought about when I got into voiceover. And it was because I marketed myself broadly. You must market yourself broadly when you begin a voiceover because you have to allow, you've got to get some good intel. You've got to get some feedback and you have to allow, allow the market to direct you and help you understand where your strengths are at. Today, while I do just about everything imaginable in voiceover, I would say probably close to half of the work that I do is in the healthcare industry, pharmaceutical companies. I do a lot, I do, you know, a lot of commercials for, for healthcare systems like Mayo Clinic, uh, Henry Ford, Olathe Health System in Kansas City, and, and many others around the country. When I first started in voiceover, I had no idea. That was not my, my plan. That was not, you know, not the niche I was going for. But it just so happened that I, you know, over time, as I marketed myself broadly, which I knew to do, I was able to get feedback from clients. They began to hire me for the things they felt I was best suited for. Now, again, it doesn't exclude me from doing some of the things I'm interested in. But if I was trying to make my living doing those things that I was dead set on doing early on, I would be struggling today because that was not necessarily where my talents, um, you know, were, were, were to be found. But over time, I've discovered what they are. And I've opened myself up to that. And because of that, I've become very successful. I'm beyond my wildest dreams in voiceover because I listened to the marketplace. Which brings me to this point. Be very careful of the advice that you heed. Vet 
the people that you listen to, that you ask for help and co- coaching. And by the way, there are some good coaches out there, but there's a lot of really bad misinformation out there. Vet those sources of information. Carefully ask questions. The people who are offering you advice that you're paying for for advice should very gladly free with you uh, or share with you their success. And they should have a long track record of being successful at the highest level in the area that they are teaching and coaching. And if they are, that's great. That is advice worth listening to and advice worth worth paying for. But if people are telling you, you've got to start off at industry, you know, industry standard, again, whatever that means in terms of price, and you must start by determining your, your niche, then that's bad advice from the get-go. And no wonder you are struggling. That's not your fault. You're just, you know, when we all start off, we don't know. You know, we, we're all trying to get information and, and we learn as we go. But I want to save you a little bit of heartache and hopefully time and cost as well. You're approaching it backwards and that is why you're struggling. That's why you're not successful. It's not because you're not good enough. It's not because you, know, you don't have something to contribute. It's because you're approaching this wrong and you are setting yourself up, up for success without even knowing it. That's why you're spinning your wheels. So thanks for checking out this video. And that's what I try to do on this YouTube channel, provide information to help you build a sustainable and profitable and lucrative voiceover business and career using sensible and tried and true business principles uh, that have worked for businesses for hundreds of years, not just voiceover. Voiceover does not exist in a vacuum. Business is business. The product may be different, the service may be different, but business is business. Subscribe, share, like, if you want to find out more about my intensive voiceover blueprint training program below, uh, there's a link and you just simply go to the, the blueprintcall.com, the blueprintcall.com to set up a free phone call to find out if it's the right fit for you. But make sure you vet your sources of information very carefully. And if you're struggling, ask yourself, am I, am I approaching this backwards and get yourself on the right path? And because you don't need to be frustrated. You don't need to be uh, constantly questioning your ability when you're just getting bad information and approaching this entire thing backwards. I think I've said enough. Again, thanks for checking out the video. I look forward to talking to you soon.